this week we're going to do some sound effects. Um, so uh, let's start adding you know, the sound of the bicycle bell, the sound of the horses' hooves, and the sound of the cars and the chattering in the streets and see exactly how we can script that to build up um, some layers of sound effects to, to create this, you know, the background noise essentially for the music then to sit on top of. The pupils weren't just responding to the action within the film, they were actually responding to the look of the film and the feel of it. Um, the sort of graininess, the, the colour, the sort of um, atmosphere that the film seems to set uh, beyond what's actually happening within the film. I think almost, almost more so to begin with last week, but they were responding to the sort of texture of the film and the, the mood that that set, which is quite interesting. So they were taking it perhaps, first of all, at face value, but then, and then we start to look closer. As we start to think about the sound effects, we look closer at what was actually happening in, in the street itself. So I've got, these are your, these are your chords, the big ones, and these are uh, Gabriel's notes, the other little ones. See what happens. Uh, but I think that's quite interesting, that, that you know, the look of the film is more interesting, perhaps, than what's actually happening in it for these, for these pupils. Um, so, yeah. And that, that in itself was suggesting certain sounds to them, certain kind of um, certain chords and timbres as well on their guitar. We had an electric guitar and we were playing with uh, harmonics on the guitar and, and sort of ghostly noises by just simply muting the strings and this kind of thing, as opposed to using a guitar um, as it's normally used. We start to use it in different ways. Um, and so, so starting to create textures around the music that, that we, we thought might. might mimic the textures in the film itself. Um, we've been doing composing in, um, in Year 11 music, GCC music, and we've been writing uh, film scores to the, to the uh, archive footage and choosing which film that grab them the most. And writing writing um, compositions in line with their GCSE coursework. So we've, although we've been writing film music, a lot of the, uh, the compositions that they can write for their GCSE um, are within you know, traditions, within genres that have been used in film music. For example, minimalist, uh, minimalist music, so composers such as Philip Glass and Michael Nyman. Um, so we've been listening to, to those composers and thinking about how we might use a minim minimalist style within their film compositions. And they've been responding to it very well.